Coming up on Cedar Valley Today, another mass shooting took place at a college in Oregon. President Obama speaks out. And Warburg College's annual security report is available. Learn about what to look out for on campus. And Republican candidate Marco Rubio visits the Cedar Valley. This is Cedar Valley Today. There's been another mass shooting in America, this time in a community college in Oregon. That means there are more American families, moms, dads, children, whose lives have been changed forever. Welcome to Cedar Valley Today. I'm Alyssa Kozak. And I'm Michael Benson. Not many details of the Umkaw Community College shooting have been released, but we have a timeline of events. Within one hour after the shooting began, the Umkaw Community College campus was secure. At 10.37 a.m., dispatchers received the first reports of shots fired on the campus. At 10.44 a.m., officers reported exchanging gunshots with the now-identified male shooter. The campus is on lockdown. By 10.46 a.m., officers reported the suspect was down and he was confirmed dead at 10.49 a.m. Between 10.50 and 11.09, responders were reporting more than 20 victims. At least 10 are dead. At 11.14, 11.16, and 11.18, the buildings of Snyder, Gooch, and the Science Building were cleared, respectively. By 11.36 a.m., nobody was allowed to leave campus without being searched about 20 minutes into class and I heard like a loud bang and I was like that's kind of weird so I looked over and uh, there's no textbook I may thought maybe it'd be a textbook on the floor or a table or desk ramming into a wall but it was kind of loud so it was like what is going on so then I looked out the window and there was a couple girls running like sprinting away from the building and then I hear screaming after that first gunshot and um, then I, I looked out and I saw the people running and I said to the teacher we need to get out of here right now and then we heard the second and third gunshots and she had opened the door and before I knew it I was already at the student center because I ran booked it over there. Every year Warburg College releases a security and fire safety report to help students and community members know what is going on here at campus. I spoke to the security office about the matter. When deciding on a college to attend a student and their families may look at how safe the campus is before making the final decision but it is not always easy to find the information you are looking for. Warburg College has made that step a little easier by providing the statistics most parents look at in one document. The, the Clery Act is the federal legislation that requires us to produce this document and, uh, and we've done so since around 1990. It's almost a one source document for anything involving um, uh, safety and um, security. The report includes facts about criminal homicide, hate crimes, and arrests or referrals based on what has been reported. Burglary has taken an increase between the years of 2013 and 2014 due to the fact more people have been reporting such a crime. Hate crimes were not reported at all in the last three years, which Myers thinks is because there has to be evidence for it to be classified as a hate crime. The fact that we haven't had any, uh, is, knock on wood, is, is good. Uh, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't mean that other schools have a, a, a problem. I'm not aware of any school with a problem, to tell you the truth. The one problem that just became a reportable offense is stalking, and there is one case that was reported within the last three years. If you think you're being stalked, uh, contact us. Uh, there's certain, the definition of stalking is, is a little, uh, I don't want to say convoluted, but it's, it's not just like I think I've been followed yesterday. Normally there's got to be a little more evidence than that but we take, we take anybody's um, safety seriously. As for liquor referrals, the number has drastically gone down as the RAs have not broken up any parties with 30 or more students who are underage, says Myers. And the drug rates have stayed the same, which is not a huge concern, but it is something that Myers would like to see come down. John Myers also said that due to enrollment being down, reports are 50 under from what they were last year at this time. Myers also wants to let students be aware that it is okay to report any crime of any sort, and action will be taken if need be. 
The security office is open 24-7 with someone on duty at all times, so don't be afraid to take action. Warburg College had their own bomb threat in April of 2012 when a male caller called a student worker in the student center. Security and Waverly Police evacuated the student center. No incendiary devices were found, and students and staff were able to return to the building later that night. You and I had a suspicious package in July of this year. You know, our campus was shut down for seven hours until it was determined that there was no threat. And Marco Rubio reveals his thoughts on the Planned Parenthood debate. Stay with us. You live in the fast lane. We get that. Nothing can slow you down. Not even managing your finances. Stay on the move with Farmer State Bank's mobile app. Deposit checks and transfer money quickly and securely. Farmers State Bank, ready for the app? Visit us online today. Republican presidential candidate Marco Rubio made a stop in Cedar Falls yesterday. Rubio spoke to about 500 people about his plans to defund Planned Parenthood. The Florida senator says a conservative president is needed to support legislative changes. Rubio says he believes Planned Parenthood should not receive federal funding, but should rely on private money instead. The Warburg store is joining hundreds of other campus stores across the U.S. and Canada to celebrate the 5th Annual National Student Day, sponsored by the National Association of College Stores. Warburg students can participate in a new national contest by snapping a selfie in the Warburg store and posting it to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag, hashtag GiveMe5NSD. Five randomly selected students will receive a $500 credit to their college store. Students can enter up to five times, and for every entry received, NACS will donate $1, up to $5,000 to Children's Literacy Advocate Reading is Fundamental. The contest runs through Thursday, October 22nd. Oh, National Student Day is just recognizing across so many campuses what our students do on campus, you know, the academic, the extracurricular, uh, just j jobs, all of that, and that we just want to you know, make that a special day and event for. Hurricane Joaquin may avoid the U.S. East Coast this weekend. This morning, Hurricane Joaquin remained essentially stalled over the Bahamas for a second day. It will begin heading north, late, north later today, but will probably stay in the Atlantic. Flood advisories stretch from North Florida to Connecticut. The governors of New Jersey, North Carolina, Virginia, and South Carolina have issued states of emergency. With hurricanes being so unpredictable, Hurricane Joaquin may still make landfall. And now let's take a look at the temperatures for the Cedar Valley. person. You always want the best from your body, and when an injury slows you down, you turn to the best. At the Waverly Health Center Orthopedic Clinic, Dr. Linda Martin, nurse practitioner Carrie Van E, and the Health Center team offer cutting-edge technology and personal patient-centered care. Knee and hip injuries, muscle strains and tears, no matter what sidelines you. Let our team get you back in the game. Waverly Health Center. We make a difference you can feel.
Now let's take a look at our entertainment news. Prince shocked fans and some hosts by calling into a TV show. Here's what he had to say. Plus, need another reason to love Bradley Cooper? We'll tell you his not-so-secret skills showcase in his latest movie. Mary Maloney has more celeb info in today's Hollywood Minute. Prince called into the Today Show, surprising most of the hosts. Hello, Miss Tamper. Not only did the legendary rocker comment on the anchors and their skills, but he also talked about his new album, Hit and Run Phase One. But if you want to see Prince, you don't have to wait long. He's teaming up with Beyonce and several other stars for a concert benefiting the New World Foundation. The show happens next month in New York. In the new movie Burnt, Bradley Cooper plays a demanding chef. But in real life, the award-winning actor has skills in the kitchen. He tells Yahoo Movies that he grew up in an Italian family and worked at Greek and Italian restaurants before he began acting. For Hollywood Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. Social media this week, we have all you need to know. Stay with us. When was the last time you got hyped up about your checking account? It's easy at State Bank. With hype checking, you can earn up to 2.04% APY on balances up to $25,000. Plus, get a free debit card with unlimited transactions. Reimbursement up to $15 in ATM fees per cycle. Free online banking, mobile banking, bill pay, and more. Get hyped up at State Bank with checking that earns you more. Open yours today. State Bank. Community-minded. Customer-focused. Member FDIC. It's internet and TV like never before. Introducing Extreme. With extreme flexibility to watch live TV on your favorite devices in your home. Plus, the power to watch your DVR shows on the go. Extreme speeds up to 150 meg. And an ultra fast Wi Fi system built for multi streaming HD. You can even access popular apps on your TV. Simple, powerful, extreme. New from Mediacom. And now let's take a look at, <clears throat> at this week's trending stories across the U.S. and social media. After a Minnesota couple had to miss a relative's wedding, they were stunned at how the newly newlyweds responded. The bride and the groom sent them a bill. They got an invoice for $75 in the mail, telling them they needed to pay for the meals they didn't eat. The groom says he and his bride have come to the realization that it was a tacky thing to do and don't expect to be reimbursed. Members of Arizona State's Alpha Chi Omega sorority were filmed Wednesday night for taking selfies rather than watching the Arizona Diamondback baseball game. The sorority members took their selfies for a full minute and 40 seconds and sparked a controversy in the process. Well, being from Phoenix, I can say that they didn't really miss that much. And coming up, we have all the highlights from last night's Warper Homecoming coronation. What's next for your future? Will it be worth it? Will it lead you on a journey of discovery? To embrace your passions. Unlock your potential. And realize your purpose. With Warburg, you can. And you will, because you are worth it. Warburg, worth it. Schedule your campus visit and learn how Warburg is worth it at warburg.edu slash worth it. As Warburg alumni, we're proud to support Knights Athletics. And as First National Bank employees, we're here to serve you first. And if you're looking for something to do this weekend, on Friday you can enjoy dancing under the blue moon at the Electric Park Ballroom in Waterloo beginning at 7.30 p.m. There's a lot to catch in the Cedar Valley on Saturday, including the Waterloo Farmers Market and the Waterloo Blackhawks Hockey Game. And enjoy the UNI School of Music Vocal Arts Festival on Sunday. Homecoming at Warburg College kicked off last night. Castle Capers and the Pep Rally were both last night, as well as the coronation. Andrew Tubbs and Angela Zook were homecoming king and queen. Castle Capers will have another performance tonight at 9 p.m., followed by the comedians in the Lyceum. Saturday will be the rent fair from 10.30 to 2 with a football game against Central College at 1.30. Thank you for joining us today on Cedar Valley. Have a great day.